Hey there, I'm Katie, and this is Cats in the 19th. Today, I wanted to share with you my special trick for turning a vlog from something that's pretty average into something that's dynamic and engaging and really fun to watch. Let me introduce you to the J cut and the L cut. If you haven't already heard of this editing lingo, then allow me to explain. So imagine this is your timeline. As per usual, the bottom row represents the audio and the top row represents the video. An L cut is simply a cut that makes the vague shape of an L. In practice, this means that the audio continues while the video changes. A J cut is the inverse. This means that the video continues while the audio changes underneath it. They're named because of the shape that they kind of make in the editing timeline when you make that cut. You can kind of see it, right? Now that we know what J cuts and L cuts are, I want to explain to you why they are so effective at making vlogs dynamic and visually interesting. There are four main reasons why I like to use this editing trick, and I'm going to use examples from four vlogs that I've made in the past to illustrate why I think they work so well. The first reason is, of course, the obligatory explanatory be real shot. This shot is super necessary in any vlog where you're talking about what you're doing and then you want to show it as well. This is pretty basic, but it's definitely necessary for any dynamic vlog with any visual interest at all. Storytime videos can be great, but they become a vlog when you do more showing of the story instead of just telling. Good morning, YouTube. Today we are headed to Central Park. It is going to be another great day. Beautiful in New York City today. Sun is shining. A little cooler, but not much. It's going to be a great time. The second reason why you would use an L cut is for the classic montage sequence. A lot of what I do in my vlogs is talk about my day in a reflective way and then show what I was talking about through clips that I shot throughout the day. L cuts are really useful for this kind of thing because it allows the audio of me telling my story to continue while the video changes to show what I'm talking about. We had lunch at By Chloe, which is this really cute vegan restaurant in Greenwich Village that Emily really wanted to go to. Uh, the food was delicious and we all really enjoyed that. Moving on to the J cut, there are two main reasons why I love the J cut and the J cut is definitely my favorite of the two. Firstly, it's great for narration. Just like the L cut montage trick, the J cut trick is great for using narration while you're showing what you're talking about. I use this one when I wanna set up a scene with some establishing shots and then bring in the narration underneath halfway through showing some of the visuals. Here's an example from a vlog I made back in January. We started out by going over to the cafe where Emily works, Dan and Alexandra and I. Finally, my absolute favorite reason for using J cuts in my vlogs is because I think it's a fun way to make the pacing of your vlogs quick and interesting, and it's a great way to transition from one topic to the next uh, without it being awkward. And even if it is a pretty abrupt uh, topical switch, I feel like the J cut can kind of make it fun and interesting. I really like using this cut for a transition from one scene or one topic to the next because I think it's a little bit unexpected, which is kind of fun. About to pay a toll with this toy money. This is so Monopoly funny. Money. It's a dollar bill, who has that? I, Dan was like, okay, Katie, go get an American dollar out for this toll, and I was like trying to find a coin. But this is what we got to use. We made it to New York! So we just arrived here. What time is it, Emily? So this fortification was built over 200 years ago as part of the War of 1812. Okay, okay, I've got a proposal for you. Okay, what? Tell me how you feel about this. Uh-huh. Two extra large pizzas, one spinach and a tomato, one plain cheese on one half, the other half Emily's. 
and then get like grow like cheesy strips as well. I knew this was coming. And wow, I would have felt so subordinate. <laughs> it goes in age. It goes. Dan is one year older than Annika, who's one year like older than me. Not even a year. You. No, no, you you're almost. You and Annika are almost like. You're only two months apart. Yeah. The question is becoming how many different ways can I film cheese fries? People think that global warming doesn't exist. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I was so shocked that you just thought it was so dead <laughs> Like the world might be getting warmer, but it's definitely not because of human involvement. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. I also like this cup because I feel like when you use it the right way, it kind of exposes the medium a little bit. It brings the viewer away from the screen for a second and allows them to recognize this has been edited. This is a video that somebody made and it's not just direct stream of consciousness you experiencing my life. And obviously if we sit down and think about it for a second, anybody can recognize that. But I think it's interesting to put it into a video because it makes you do that double take when you're watching it. And normally in filmmaking, you wouldn't want to do this kind of thing. You don't always want to break the fourth wall because it kind of takes the viewer out of the film a bit and out of the story. But I think in the context of vlogs especially, it's really interesting because it almost makes the story feel a bit more whole. A big part of my stories when I'm vlogging is that I am recording myself, right? It's not just supposed to be a film where the cameras are not at all a part of the story. It's just the characters, but in my case, the cameras become kind of like characters that have points of views. And I think that using this J cut where you can see me turn away and pause while the next clip of me starts talking, it sort of makes you realize these things and brings the whole creation aspect into the storytelling itself. So like I said, that's not always gonna be a really great tactic, but I think with the genre of vlogs in particular, it brings an interesting dynamic to the storytelling. Anyway, that's all I wanted to share with you about J cuts and L cuts today. I hope that you guys will try them out in your vlogs if you haven't already, because I think it's just an interesting way to add something different to your vlogs rather than everything being straight cuts from new video and new audio to new video and new audio. It just patches it together a little bit nicer and makes it feel more professional and easy to watch, I think. If you found this video helpful or interesting, then please give it a thumbs up. I always appreciate the encouragement. And if you have any questions about the content that I covered in this video or suggestions for future videos about editing and videography, then please leave them in the comments below. I will be looking through them after I upload this video and I always love to chat with you guys down there. Also, please be sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already so that you don't miss any of my future vlogs or videos about videography, creativity, and all that kind of fun stuff. As always, I hope you're following your dreams and please remember, just keep creating. I will see you tomorrow. Bye.